Hi, this is Eric Lyons, and this is a tutorial on how to use Koji to compare two genomes of E. coli. For this tutorial, we're going to use the tool SynMap, which allows for whole genome comparison uh, between any two genomes in Koji. And in this case, we're going to compare the genomes of MG1655, which we're going to first search using uh, the Organism 1 search box, um, and we're going to search it against one of the B strains, um, DE3. Um, we'll pick this guy right down here. So once we've um, identified the two genomes that we want to compare, uh, we can go ahead and maybe do some configuration to the analysis, but in this case we're just going to leave everything on the default settings, and we run it by just clicking the button Generate SynMap. When the results come back, we get a, a synthetic dot plot of these two genomes. We've got DE3 on the y-axis laid out end-to-end, -end, and MG1655 on the x-axis. Now, all of these green dots or lines are gene pairs that have been identified as being syntenic based on a collinear order in the two genomes. And what we can see is that, for the most part, these two genomes are very, very, very similar to one another. For the most part, their entire gene content is completely collinear. However, if we look at the line closely, we'll see that there are a variety of discontinuities in there, for example, right here in the middle. And what this represents are regions of the genome um, where there has been something inserted in one or deleted in the other one. And as you look at the whole line, it's a little bit jagged, which says that there's been a lot of changes between these two genomes since they diverged from one another. So Koji's uh, tool SynMap is, is connected to a variety of other platforms. So if we click on the dot plot, it'll bring a little pop-up that allows us to look at all the gene pairs making up these regions as well as all the other gray dots which represent any putative match between the two genomes. And what we're going to do is when these crosshairs turn red, that means we're on top of a gene pair. And this then becomes a link to another one of Koji's tools called GIVO, which allows us to analyze that region around that particular pair of genes in more detail. So we've linked into GIVO that pair of genes. We've got one from MG1655 over here, one from DE3 over here. And by default, it's set to extract out an additional 50 KB of sequence upstream and downstream from both of these genes. You can adjust that more or less if you want to. And I'm going to go ahead and bump it out to um, 100 kilobases. This box down here just does a submission of that numeric change to all the upstream and downstream uh, text boxes. So once this analysis is configured, you run it just by hitting the red button, run GIVO analysis. And behind the scenes, Koji is um, extracting out these genomic regions, comparing them against each other with our chosen algorithm. In this case, the default is set to BLAST-C, which is good for identifying large blocks of conserved sequence. And when the results come back, we get two panels, one for each one of these genomic regions. On the top is MG1655, and on the bottom is DE3. And these, these green arrows represent gene models, protein coding sequence, dash lines representing the top strand or separating the top strand from the bottom strand of DNA. And the pink blocks are the regions of sequence similarity identified in this case by BLAST-C. If we click on these, they will connect uh, the regions of sequence similarity between the two regions. And what you can see is that for the most part things are collinear, but here's that chunk of MG1655 um, that is not present in DE3. So if we're interested in extracting out this sequence and trying to catalog what those genes are, we can use these little slider bars just to narrow ourselves down on that particular region. And I'm going to close the information box. And then down here on the sequence submissions, we can click this, bar, this link that says Get Sequence. And what that will do is extract out that sequence um, of that genome. Now this tool, SeekView, has the option to extract out features, annotated genomic features from that region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's extract out everything from this region of the genome that codes for protein. This then will fire up a tool called FeedList, which allows us to manage lists of genomic features um, inside of Koji. So here's a bunch of features that are all of type CDS um, from MG1655. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the annotations for them, and this will just give us our generic view of, of uh, Koji's annotation system. And I'm just going to be sort of interested in parsing this down just to view products. So I can get a quick overview of what these genes are. So I'm going to filter for the word product and just scan through here. So what I can see is that um, this chunk of DNA contains, uh, uh, looks like some DNA binding stuff, um, maybe an uh, endonuclease subunit, um, some flagellar things, predictive prote proteins, and more flagellar things, um, so on and so forth. So it looks like an entire uh, set of, of genes or operons that are related to uh, motility 
Um, we have got a bunch of um, flagellar things that are in there, as well as a, a couple of other things, including this, these endonucleases, which may have aided for this region to have been inserted uh, within this genome. And each one of these, of course, is linked to many other things out there, and so your analysis can keep going at that point. If, for example, you were interested in just extracting out one of these genes, um, we can go ahead and turn off that filter and say, let's go ahead and grab the FASTA sequence for just this particular gene, and, and we can do that. And then if we want to do the protein translation, we easily can do that as well. Uh, one of the other things just to keep in mind about Koji is that all the tools are web-based and they're all linked to one another. If at any point you want to save an analysis um, or the results being visualized, you can either copy um, the link up here at the top in the URL bar, bar or for the analyses like Jivo and SynMap, these programs will generate for you um, a special link that can be used to regenerate the analysis exactly as you had it configured. So you can just copy and save this um, in SynMap, or you can copy and save this in Jivo. Um, so thank you very much, and hope you found this.